Breaking news, the Las Vegas Raiders signed their defensive coordinator in Gus Bradley, former Jacksonville Jaguars head coach. He failed there, as you guys probably already know, maybe not. Um, he runs a standard 4-3 defense, which is exactly what John Gruden wants. And in my opinion, 4-3 defenses are the way to go. You have four big guys trying to get after the pass. You have the two defensive tackles trying to clog up the run. You have the two edge rushers on the outside trying to contain the quarterback and get after him. And then you get your three standard linebackers. Now, there's a lot with this Raiders defense, and I'm excited for Gus Bradley because when you got someone like Gus Bradley, he runs a highly motivated defense, and him and Ron Marinelli together are going to really motivate this team and hopefully develop the player, right? Not only develop the player, but like Ron Marinelli said, develop the person first and the player second. Me being a coach myself, that's what you try to do. You, you develop the person first and the player second. You need to bring good attitudes, and you got to love the players, Right? If you don't, if you don't care about the players, if, if, at least first, then they're not going to want to play for you. So you got, you got to show compassion and, and and love for the player, and then they'll become. I mean, for the person first and the player second. And look, that's what football is. Number one, they're all humans, right? So you got to treat them with respect. And maybe that's not what we were previously doing with uh, Paul Grunther. Maybe it was, but from a lot of the players, were sounding like he was putting a lot of blame on the players constantly rather than taking blame himself. So maybe we'll see a little bit different with Gus Bradley. Look, a standard 4-3 defense, this is what you like to see, in my opinion, from a defensive standpoint. Then you got the cornerbacks. We got two young cornerbacks, one in Trayvon Mullen, the other one in Damon Arnett. And again, when you got these two corners, right? Trayvon Mullen, he had flashes, of good flashes are really bad with the holding penalties, constantly slipping and sliding all over the field. We're going to need somebody that's going to develop him and develop Damon Arnett, who's a man-to-man uh, press corner. Both of those corners are man-to-man -man corners. And for some reason, we're running his own defense, which we probably should not be doing. You got Nick Kwiatkowski, a middle linebacker, who played excellent. You still got Corey Littleton. You got Nicholas Moreau, who was playing very good for us. And on the defensive line, you got Cleve Furl, who was turning on when he was healthy this year. Mad Matt Crosby, who was always good when he was on the field. But this year, he was getting extra chips and, and, and making sure he was getting that extra attention so he couldn't get through. Defensive tackles is definitely a problem, probably something that we should address during the draft because, in all, my opinion, we have Mo Hurst, who's good when he's healthy, and then you got Jonathan Hankins, um, Malik Collins, who never really panned out for us. We're going to have to wait and see. Cool. And then you got the safety position, right? We One's unassistant, right? Does not even exist. The other one's Jonathan Abram, who I'm hearing rumors that might potentially move to linebacker because... His cover skills are not the greatest. He's fast, he can move around, but the issue with him is he's overly aggressive and maybe playing that linebacker position where he would be undersized would be better because it fits his strengths more and it would get rid of his weaknesses. So there's a lot of questions that Gus Bradley is going to have to figure out when he gets here. I'm going to say, let me know what you guys think about this move. Huge fan of it, to be honest with you. I think he's always been a good defensive-minded coach, and since he's a defensive coordinator for us, that's the best thing they can possibly have. Him and John Gruden should hopefully be able to scheme up a defense. And not only Gruden, because Gruden only likes the photos on his offense, but you also got Rob Marinelli there for, uh, as a huge support for uh, Gus Bradley. So let me know what you guys think. Be sure to comment in the comment section below. Remember, again, I'm a Raiders fan, but I cover all sports here, and so do my people. Uh, we also cover all breaking news. Give us topics to debate and join our show and be able to debate your and state your opinion and make a claim rather than going in the comments and nagging on everything. Come on the show. Come with us, join it, and actually talk and speak your mind so you can make your claim on record. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. We are built better from top-notch sports. See you again soon. Peace. Boof.